I think you are watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program that recently installed this error arrived. The problem can start because convert.dll is missing from your computer. It's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video till the end and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes, so start the countdown. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for the entire file name the TLL. You can choose any results you want. I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. And you can see a few download options based on the architecture and version. To know your architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see mine is 64 bit and I am updated to the recent Windows update so I'll be downloading the top 64 bit file. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has other fixing method also. As the download complete, hit open. Here you can see two files one is the DLL, other one is readme. To move the DLL, open this PC, local disk C, Windows, and find a folder named System32. This is the home of 32-bit DLLs. Now click on the downloaded GIF, drag the DLL, and drop. I've already done this, so they are asking me to replace. And click on Continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check. By typing the file name, you can see the file is properly placed in the folder. So, job then for 32 bit users. You can go and restart your computer. Only for 64 bit users, open this PC one more time. Local DXC. Windows. And this time, find a folder named syswow64. This is the home of 64-bit DLLs files. Now click on the zip file and same again. Check this one more time. Yeah, now the file is properly placed in 64 video folder too. So, job is done. I can go and restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are two lockers, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable and install your program again and that will surely do it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you will no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video and do not forget to like and subscribe.